OK, let's look at page 25. When making a list, we should make sure that the language is consistent. 列清单的时候，语言需要一致。So look at list one. It says agenda preparation. Noun plus noun, 名词加名词 But the next one, discussing issues. Verb plus noun, 动词加名词 So these two are not consistent. We should change one of them. Which one do you think we should use? Should we use two nouns or should we use a verb plus a noun? I think we should use two nouns or should we use a verb plus a noun? I think we should use two nouns or should we use a verb plus a noun? This list is an agenda. It's a list of things to talk about in a meeting. It's a list of things to do. So I think it makes more sense to use a verb and a noun. Because the agenda is to do the thing, so using a noun plus a verb is more appropriate, right? So for this activity. Please change、uh, all of the items into verb plus noun like this. So the first one should be changed, verb plus noun. This one should be changed into a, a verb plus some nouns,、uh, and the rest of these. I'll give you five minutes. Please put these items on the list. 项目都改成动名词加名词的形式，给你们五分钟 ，and then we will compare answers. Ah,、uh, okay. I noticed that there are actually three kinds of language. One is noun plus noun. The other is gerund plus noun, 动名词加名词 The third one is verb plus noun, 动词原形呃，应该说对动词原形加名词 So we should use this one, ver、uh, simple verb plus noun, 原呃。Uh, 原形动词加名词 So please change all of the others to this kind of language.
OK, let's compare answers. The first one, agenda preparation should be changed to prepare the agenda. For each meeting, there's only one agenda. So should be prepare the agenda. Number two, discussing issues should be discuss issues. Number three, promoting meeting should be promote the meeting. Number four, employees work issues should be discuss employees work issues. Staff promotions should be uh, discuss staff promotions. Well, it depends. Maybe you are promoting staff during the meeting. If you're promoting staff during the meeting, then it should be promote staff. But if you're only talking about how to promote staff, it should be discuss staff promotions. Set the topics. This is fine. This is OK. Promote the products. This is also fine. Firing staff. This is the same as staff promotions. If you are talking about how to fire staff, and then it should be discuss firing staff. But if you are actually firing staff during the meeting, then it should be fire staff. Issues discussion. This should be discuss issues. Meeting conducting. This should be conduct the meeting. OK. OK. Uh, next page. Last week I said you could do this optional writing assignment. Did anyone do the assignment and want to hand it in? You can hand it in later if you want to. When we conduct meetings, sometimes we will run into some problems. Uh, so you can think about how would you solve these problems? Let me read these problems to you. First one, people are talking to each other rather than listening. People are reading other materials or your handouts instead of listening. People enter the room late. Someone asks a question about something you're going to talk about later in the meeting. There are not enough handouts for everyone. Handout Yi. There is no overhead projector. Overhead means above your head, right? So the projector is higher than we are. So there is no overhead projector, but you want to use one. You drop all of your information on the floor and it gets mixed up. Someone wants to talk about a topic which is not on the agenda. Someone wants to leave the meeting early. Someone says something you don't understand. Someone says something you can't hear. So if you're running a meeting, and you run into these problems, what would you do? That's something for you to think about. OK, on the next page, uh, we have some more vocabulary words. Uh, 
actually, I think you know all of these words already. Domestic sales manager, 国内行销经理 International sales manager, 国际行销经理 Engineering manager, 工程经理 Marketing manager, 呃、uh, ，宣传经理，广告经理。Okay, you want to launch a new product, 发布新产品 Launch, I think we talked about this before. You can launch a rocket, 发射火箭 You can launch、um, new events, 办新活动 Here you can launch a new product, 发布产品新产品 Yeah. So those are the new words. Okay, let's do some listening practice. So for part A, first let's look at the information and the questions. Two people planning a meeting. Here we have a meeting agenda. Date, place, time. And then five items: introductions of staff and clients, 员工与顾客介绍，客户啊，客户介绍 History of a Merisport company, 公司历史 Presentation from design team, 设计团队 Presentation from sales marketing, 广告行销 Questions answers. Okay, and then these are the questions you will try to answer when you listen to the dialogue. One, why is Bill asking Grace for advice? Okay, so we have one man, one woman, and Bill is asking Grace for advice. Why? Two, why is meeting room C? A good place to hold this meeting. Three. What does Grace think might impress their boss? 让他们丧失令人印象深刻 Four. Why do they decide to let the design team speak before the sales marketing people? Five. How should Bill dress for the meeting? 该怎么穿着 Okay, so let's listen to this dialogue.
OK, let's compare answers. One, why is Bill asking Grace for advice? He says he has little experience and Grace has been at this company for a long time. So he's asking her for advice. Two, why is meeting room C a good place to hold this meeting? Grace says that it's comfortable and it has a beautiful view of the city. Um, the answer to number four came first. Uh, so let's look at four. Why let the design team go first? And they agree that it's because the product is the most important thing. It's happening, so it's only all. So they let the design team present first. Number three. What does Grace think might impress their boss? She says if they have time after the meeting, they can take the clients on a tour of the company. And Grace thinks that this would impress the boss. Number five, how should Bill dress for the meeting? Grace says you should dress nice. Uh, in terms of grammar, yes, it should be nicely. But as we mentioned uh, about the word funny last week, sometimes when you're speaking English, you can use an adjective to replace an adverb. Uh, so it has to be nice. OK, now that you have all of the information, let's listen again and try to catch when each person gives us this information.
Okay. Let's look at the next question. We're going to hear six short conversations. And um, so here are discussion or descriptions of the conversations. Please match the conversation number to the description. You will notice that there is more than six descriptions. So not all descriptions will be used. Let's look at these descriptions. One or the first one. Close the meeting. Greet people as they arrive for the meeting. Uh, Prepare an agenda for the meeting. Discuss the topics. Talk with co-workers or boss about the topics needing discussed and who should be included in this discussion and decision. 跟同事上次讨论什么项目要讨论，然后每一个每一项目要包含谁？呃，OK, uh, okay, this by the way, grammar, needing discussed. This is British English. This is English English. 美式 English. Uh, for American English, you have to say needing to be discussed. That to be cannot be omitted. To be, but Next one, call people and invite them to the meeting. Call the meeting to order. Make decisions about the topics. Okay, so let's listen to these conversations. Okay, anyway, so that conversation was this one. Talk with coworkers or boss about the topics needing to be discussed and who should be included. So let's listen again to make sure this is the right one.
Okay, I think. Ah, okay, so there are six conversations. Okay, I see. Let's listen to the next one. Okay, this one is he's beginning the meeting. He's calling the meeting to order. So yes, he begins by saying hi, but he ends by saying let's talk about it. So he has started the meeting. Let's listen again. Let's get on with means let's begin. Let's start. OK, let's listen to the third conversation. OK, this one is. He is preparing an agenda for the meeting. You can tell he says first. Next, then and finally. So he's deciding what will happen. He's preparing an agenda that's on the Let's hear that again. Okay, let's listen to the next uh, conversation. So number four is this one. Greet people as they arrive. So let's listen to that again.
OK, let's listen to number five. So number five is this one. Call people and invite them to the meeting. You can tell uh, it is this one because it begins with uh, someone answering the phone. Hello, accounting department. So let's listen to that again. OK, let's listen to the last one. OK, this one is the last one. Make decisions about the topics. They're all talking about what we will do next. They have already finished the discussion. And they are now deciding what to do. Let's hear that again. OK, let's look at the last uh, listening part. Three people evaluating a meeting. What went wrong? How did they handle it? So it is the whole One, what seems to be the main problem discussed? A, making a class meeting productive. Uh, B, making a class meeting entertaining. C, too many leaders for the meeting. Four, the same person always taking charge. Two, what were three main points made in the dialogue? A, how to avoid work, how to volunteer, how to pay for the work. B, how to sleep in class, how to avoid meetings, how to win the election. C, 
see how to choose a meeting leader, how to choose candidates for president. 竞选这应该是班长啊，竞选班长的候选人。How to give a token reward for serving as president? Token reward, 象征性呃，象征性的奖励。D, how to run a presidential campaign? 如何竞选 ？How to be the best president? How to get classmates to pay you money? Three. How would you summarize this dialogue? 重点是什么 ？A. The heavy duties of a student president are too many. Heavy duties, 重担 B. Student president positions are too popular. Position 这边应该是立场，啊，立场太受欢迎。C. Having an effective student meeting is too easy. D. Having an effective meeting to choose a president requires leadership. 领导能力 Four. What made the meeting ineffective? 无效 A. Too many volunteers. 太多职工 B. No one led the meeting. C. No one volunteered. D. The job、uh, didn't pay enough. Five. What were the cards for? A. For each student to rate their willingness to serve as president. 自我评量这个当班长的意愿 B. For each student to decide to vote for themselves or not. 决定要不要投给自己。C, for each student to choose a meeting leader for the decision. D, for each student to evaluate the meeting according to the cards. 呃、uh, ，事后给这个会议评分。Uh, okay, let's listen to this conversation. 呃、uh, ，我们等一下这一题处理完再下课。
That sounded like two people. Anyway, number one, what is the main problem? The main problem is that it was a waste of time. Very little got done. So how to make a class meeting productive is the main problem. Number two, three main points. C, how to choose a meeting leader, how to choose candidates for president, and how to give a token reward. And the token reward is the woman mentions they can give the president a, di a free dinner and movie for two. 当选人可以获得免费的两个人晚餐与电影票. Number three. How would you summarize this dialogue? So what is the main point? D, having an effective meeting to choose a president requires leadership. Why? Number four, what made the meeting ineffective? And the answer is B, no one led the meeting. So the main point should be it requires leadership. Number five, what were the cards for? Uh, A, their idea is each person can say how willing they are to be president and that can help save time when they choose a candidate. So now that you know the answers, let's listen one more time and then I'll let you take a break. Okay, let's take a 10 minute break. Come back at uh, 9.15. Julian Suvan Huerai. <laughs> 